Welcome fellow fishermen to another COD franchise. Yes, Black Ops 3 has returned on the PS4, Xbox One and of course the PC. But how does it fare? What does it run like? Are we looking at a Victorian England setting with love, betrayal and intrigue? Or are we actually looking at a typical violent, black, twisted, fucked up world that Treyarch have created in Black Ops that makes absolutely no sense? I think the latter. Let's take a look. Just to clarify, this is my first contact performance and some metric analysis. I'll have a detailed and thorough head-to-head -head up over the weekend when I've had some more time online and done some proper analysis of the game, and certainly where it's going to be played most of the time, which is going to be online multiplayer. And this will obviously include my multiple PC setups to give you an idea of how the game runs. Now, Treyarch have delivered a very thorough package here, not only a big, long, seven-hour single-player campaign, but also the standard zombie mode and an additional nightmare mode, which actually runs through the entire single-player campaign with some changes with the zombies and some of the dialogue but the cutscenes are all identical but I'll go through that more on my head to head what we're looking at is a very complete package and they certainly use their time well in certain aspects but as you may remember from my beta access of the Xbox One version at least it ran a dynamic resolution in multiplayer and what we're seeing now is that actually has been carried over to the single player campaign on both platforms I don't think this is going to run on the PC version, most specifically because they don't have access to that at the driver level on DirectX, and obviously these are the kind of benefits you see on console formats, with the API being completely exposed to the developer to do what they want. But that doesn't mean that we're looking at a completely locked 60 frames per second, there's been some strange choices here with Treyarch. Unlike all previous games, the cutscenes are still real time, but they now run at 30 FPS. That's 33 milliseconds, half the frame rate of what you're seeing in normal gameplay and previous cutscenes, and this includes the very impressive Advanced Warfare. Now, predominantly throughout the game, this can be quite an issue over and above that because it doesn't always run motion blurs in the cutscenes, so it becomes across even more jarring when you half the frame rate and then have no motion blur to compensate for it. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. And these sequences happen just when you're climbing into a tank or breaching a door and could quite literally handle 60 FPS with ease. And you go from these cutscenes, even in first person, straight back into gameplay and it instantly jumps back into 60 FPS. It is a strange choice and most likely not the best one. For such a game like this, it would have been better to compensate for some of the visual effects. And overall, in the cutscenes, the effects are not as good or as polished as what we saw in Advanced Warfare. Well, throughout the single player campaign I've seen so far, excluding zombie mode mine. But I'll cover that in more detail in my head to head. Certainly the zombie mode seems to have the most love from Treyarch. And there is that feeling when you play the game in the story and you play both versions. They are tiring a little bit of the Black Ops need. They're allowed to branch out a little with the zombie mode and they seem to be having more fun. It doesn't continue from the previous two games. It has a similar conspiracy strange feel, but it's all a bit exaggerated, and it does feel like Advanced Warfare 2, but just gone a little bit mad, and in typical Treyarch style, a hell of a lot more violent. The additional choice of choosing a male or female character and designing them for the sequences is a nice one, if not exactly making a huge difference, but it's a nice touch and welcome from Treyarch. Now in terms of the performance, we're looking at the Xbox One running around the same 1360 by 900 p The vertical resolution does seem to stick at 900 p What we're looking at on the PS4 is a capped 1080p. It's locked at that on a vertical. But obviously the horizontal resolution is scaling on both. So on the PS4, I'm seeing resolutions as low as 1360 and 1580 and then standard 1920 by 1080 these don't always happen in action as well and can actually change just while you're standing still looking at a box. But overall the performance is also not as solid. It does dip down to lows of like 40s at some points on the PS4 and the Xbox One. But at later levels when you're getting some lovely volumetric lighting, heavy particle effects and smoke and alpha, it can get very busy. I can't shake this feeling that the game has been working to an optimization stage that hasn't completed and we may see some big performance improvements in later patches as we actually saw in Advanced Warfare as well last year. And as it stands at the moment, on both machines, it's an absolute tear fest with adaptive V-Sync running and it's tearing all over the place. But their physically based rendering is very good and it does look a lot better in some of the sequences, certainly the zombie mode again. And obviously their lighting and particle effects that they've put into the game, along with the physics calculation for explosions, is actually very good. So you can see where some of the budget has gone and why we're seeing some of the issues. Now these both run patch 102, the day one patch. But if you want to learn more about this and the PC releases on multiple setups, please check back soon for my detailed head-to-head. -head. 
If you did enjoy this or any of my other content, then please hit the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate each and every one of you that does, and you'll get a chance to catch up on my new footage. You take care, and remember that important rule, keep your arms in the carriage at all times. Or is that away from crazy robots? But I forget. <laughs> And I'll see you guys and girls soon on the next one. I was back in Ethiopia. The grunts. I lived it all over again. What's happening to me? Don't lose it now, Ruby. Going to the light. Leave behind the night. Eyes can barely see. I barely breathe. Stay.